friends, today I have brought you a new video in which we will talk about the top 15 biggest nutrition myths. Scrolling through social media, reading your favorite magazine or visiting popular websites exposes you to endless information about nutrition and health, most of which is incorrect. Even qualified health professionals, including doctors and dietitians, are to blame for spreading misinformation about nutrition to the public, adding to the confusion. Before starting our today's video, I request you all to please subscribe and share my channel and hit the bell icons. Number 1. Calories in, calories out is all that matters when it comes to weight loss. Though creating a calorie deficit by burning more energy than you take in is the most important factor when it comes to weight loss, it's not the only thing that matters. Relying solely on calorie intake doesn't account for the large number of variables that may prevent someone from losing weight. For example, hormonal imbalances, health conditions like hypothyroidism, metabolic adaptations, the use of certain medications, and genetics are just some of the factors that may make weight loss harder for some people even when they are on a strict diet. This concept also fails to emphasize the importance of sustainability and diet quality for weight loss. Those following the calories in calories out method typically concentrate solely on the calorie value of foods not their nutrient value. This can lead to choosing low calorie nutrient poor foods like rice cakes and egg whites over high calorie nutrient dense foods like avocados and whole eggs which isn't the best for overall health. Number 2. High fat foods are unhealthy. Though this antiquated and incorrect theory is slowly being put to rest, many people still fear high fat foods and follow low fat diets in the hopes that cutting their fat intake will benefit their overall health. Dietary fat is essential for optimal health. Plus, low-fat diets have been linked to a greater risk of health issues including metabolic syndrome and may lead to an increase in insulin resistance and triglyceride levels which are known risk factors for heart diseases. What's more, diets that are higher in fat have been proven just as effective or even more so than low-fat diets when it comes to encouraging weight loss. Number 3. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. While it was once thought that eating breakfast was one of the most important factors in setting yourself up for a healthy day, research has shown that this might not be the case for most adults. For instance, research indicates that foregoing breakfast may result in reduced calorie intake. Moreover, partaking in intermittent fasting, during which breakfast is either skipped or consumed later in the day, has been linked to a plethora of benefits including improved blood sugar control and reductions in inflammatory markers. However, intermittent fasting can also be accomplished by consuming a regular breakfast then having your last meal earlier in the evening to maintain a fasting window of 14 to 16 hours. Keep in mind that this does not apply to growing children and teens or those with increased nutrient needs such as pregnant women and those with certain health conditions as skipping meals may lead to negative health effects in these populations. On the other hand, some evidence shows that eating breakfast and consuming more calories earlier in the day rather than at night, coupled with reduced meal frequency, may benefit health by reducing inflammation and body weight. Regardless, if you enjoy breakfast, eat it. If you're not a breakfast person, don't feel the need to add it to your daily routine. Number 4. You need to eat small, frequent meals for optimal health. Eating small, frequent meals regularly throughout the day is a method used for many people to boost metabolism and weight loss. However, if you are healthy, the frequency of your meals does not matter as long as you meet your energy needs. Number 5. Non-nutritive sweeteners are healthy. The rising interest in low-calorie, low-carb, sugar-free foods has led to an increase in products that contain non-nutritive sweeteners. While it's clear that a diet high in added sugar significantly increases disease risk, intake of NNS can also lead to negative health outcomes. 
For example, NNS intake may increase your risk of type 2 diabetes by leading to negative shifts in gut bacteria and promoting blood sugar dysregulation. What's more, regular NNS intake is associated with overall unhealthy lifestyle patterns. Keep in mind that research in this area is ongoing and future high quality studies are needed to confirm these potential links. Number 6. Macronutrient ratio matters more than diet quality. Although macro coaches may lead you to believe that the ratio of macronutrients in your diet is all that matters when it comes to weight loss and overall health, this narrow-minded take on nutrition is missing the bigger picture. While Tweaking macro ratios can benefit health in many ways. The most important factors in any diet is the quality of the foods you eat. Though it may be possible to lose weight by eating nothing, but highly processed foods and protein shakes focusing solely on macronutrients discounts how eating certain foods can either increase or decrease metabolic health, disease risk, lifespan and vitality. Number 7 White potatoes are unhealthy. Often labeled as unhealthy by those in the nutrition world, white potatoes are restricted by many people wanting to lose weight or improve their overall health. While eating too much of any food, including white potatoes, can lead to weight gain, these starchy tubers are highly nutritious and can be included as a part of a healthy diet. White potatoes are an ex excellent source of many nutrients, including potassium, vitamin C, and fiber. Plus, they are more filling than other carb sources like rice and pasta and can help you feel more satisfied after meals. Just remember to enjoy potatoes baked or roasted, not fried. Number 8. Low-fat and diet foods are healthy alternatives. Take a trip to your local grocery store and you'll find a variety of products labeled diet, light, low-fat, and fat-free. While these products are tempting to those wanting to shed excess body fat, they're typically an unhealthy choice. Research has shown that many low-fat and diet items contain much more added sugar and salt than their regular fat counterparts. It's best to forego these products and instead enjoy small amounts of food like full-fat yogurt, cheese, and nut butters. Number 9. Supplements are a waste of money. While focusing on consuming a nutrient-dense, well-rounded diet is the most essential component of health, supplements, when used correctly and in the right form, can be beneficial in many ways. For many, especially those with health conditions like type 2 diabetes, as well as those who take common medications like statins, proton pump inhibitors, birth controls and anti-diabetic medications, taking specific supplements can significantly affect their health. For example, supplementing with magnesium and vitamin B has been shown to benefit those with type 2 diabetes by enhancing blood sugar and reducing heart disease risk factors and diabetes-related complications. Those on restrictive diets People with genetic mutations like methylene tetrahydrofolate reductase, MTHFR, people over the age of 50, and pregnant or breastfeeding women are other examples of populations that may benefit from taking specific supplements. Number 10. Following a very low calorie diet is the best way to lose weight. While reducing calorie intake can indeed boost weight loss, Cutting calories too low can lead to metabolic adaptations and long-term health consequences. Though going on a very low calorie diet will likely promote a rapid weight loss in the short term, long-term adherence to very low calorie diets lead to a reduction in metabolic rate, increased feelings of hunger and alterations in fullness hormones. Number 11. You have to be skinny to be healthy. Obesity is associated with many health conditions, including type 2 diabetes, heart disease, depression, certain cancers, and even early death. Still, reducing your disease risk does not mean you have to be skinny. What's most important is consuming a nutritious diet and maintaining an active lifestyle as these behaviors often improve your weight loss and body fat percentage. Number 12. 
Calcium supplements are necessary for bone growth. Many people are told to pop calcium supplements to keep their skeletal system healthy. However, current research has shown that supplementing with calcium may do more harm than good. For example, some studies have linked calcium supplements to an increased risk of heart disease. Additionally, research shows that they don't reduce the risk of fracture or osteoporosis. If you're concerned about your calcium intake, it's best to focus on dietary sources of calcium like full-fat yogurt, sardines, beans, and seeds. Number 13. Fiber supplements are a good substitute for high-fiber foods. Many people struggle with getting adequate dietary fiber, which is why fiber supplements are so popular. Although fiber supplements can benefit health by improving bowel movements and blood sugar control, they should not replace real food. High fiber whole foods like vegetables, beans and fruits contain nutrients and plant compounds that work synergistically to promote your health and they can't be replaced by fiber supplements. Number 14. All smoothies and juices are healthy. Certain juices and smoothies are highly nutritious. For example, a nutrient-dense smoothie or freshly made juice composed primarily of non-starchy vegetables can be a great way to increase your vitamin, mineral and antioxidant intake. Yet, it's important to know that most juices and smoothies sold at stores are loaded with sugar and calories. When consumed in excess, they can promote weight gain and other health issues like tooth decay and blood sugar dysregulation. Number 15. Carbs make you gain weight. Just as fat has been blamed for promoting weight gain and heart disease, carbs have been shunned by many people over fears that consuming this macronutrient will cause obesity, diabetes and other adverse health effects. In reality, eating a moderate amount of nutritious carbs that are high in fiber, vitamins and minerals like starchy root vegetables, Asian grains and legumes will likely benefit your health, not harm it. For example, dietary patterns that contain a balanced mix of high fiber carbs has been associated with a reduced risk of obesity, diabetes, certain cancers and heart diseases. However, Carb-rich foods like cakes, cookies, sweetened beverages, and white bread should be restricted as these foods can increase weight gain and disease risk when eaten in excess. As you can see, food quality is the main predictor of disease risk. Now after we have gone through all the information about myths related to nutrition, it is not false to say that the nutrition world is rife with misinformation leading to public confusion, mistrust of health professionals and poor dietary choices. This coupled with the fact that nutrition science is constantly changing makes it no wonder that most people have a warped view of what constitutes a healthy diet. Although these nutrition myths are likely here to stay, educating yourself by separating fact from fiction when it comes to nutrition can help you feel more empowered to develop a nutritious and sustainable dietary pattern that works for your individual needs. I hope our today's video would serve as a huge information pack for you. Stay tuned for the next video.